so in today's video guys i'm going to be showing you another modded outfit from the outfit transfer glitch so remember that with the outfit transfer glitch you do lose all your outfits except for only one so before you start you want to make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose also make sure you've gone to ammunition and bought either a rebreather or an earpiece whichever one you want to buy just buy either a rebreather or an earpiece once you're ready to start the glitch come to the clothing store set your spawn location to last location hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so one more time you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start make sure you put the outfit on that you don't want to lose So once you get inside of here, you want to make sure that your male, which is your main character, is on the left side. If he's on the right side, the glitch isn't going to work. So once you get in here, just go over to your second character, and underneath your second character, it's going to say edit or delete. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete them. Two new characters are going to walk in, and then you're going to get the edit option for your second character. Once you get the edit option for your second character, go ahead and select it. When he or she is going, you're going to get this alert right here. Just go ahead and accept it. Once your second character comes in here, if it ended up being a male, change it into a female. But if it was already a female, just leave it as a female. Go ahead and save and continue. Make a random name for it and then take the picture. Once you take the picture and it's loading, it may or may not play the Casino DLC trailer. For me, it's not going to play it, but for some of you guys, it may play it. So whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. You're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session. Also, one last thing. This glitch is not going to give you the white joggers. If we were doing it for female, then we would be able to get white joggers. But since this is for male, you're going to have to have the white joggers before you do the glitch. Because I know in the comment section, it's going to be a little bit of people that's going to be like, Oh dude, this is totally clickbait. In the title, it says how to get white joggers. But right now, I'm telling you that you need white joggers before you can do the glitch. So once you get spawned inside your new session, first you want to make your way over to the nearest clothing store. If you open up your map and you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you got to do is go to online and switch sessions or find a new session and then the clothing stores are going to be inside your new session. But if you do see the clothing stores, just make your way over to the nearest one. So once again, if you don't see any clothing stores, switch sessions, find a new session and then the clothing stores are going to be in that session. But if you do see the clothing stores, make your way over to the nearest one. So once you get in the clothing store, first you want to go to the top section, go to leather bomber jackets and buy the multi-color SN leather clothes. So just go to the top section, go to leather bomber jackets and purchase the multi-color SN leather clothes. So this one right here, just go ahead and buy it. Once you have that, you want to back out, make your way over to the pants section, go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants. So just come over to the pants section, go to sport pants, and buy the spotted muscle pants. Now for the shoes, I'm not sure which one you guys want, but I'm going to give you some options. If you want the white sneakers with the socks, go to high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat. So if you want the sneakers with the socks, go to high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat. If you want blue deadline shoes, go to the boots and purchase the worn black slack boots. So if you want blue deadline shoes, go to the boots and purchase the worn black slack boots. If you want green deadline shoes, go to the boots and purchase the ox blood slack boots. So that's for the green deadline shoes. Go to the boots and purchase the ox blood slack boots. 
if you want the orange deadline shoes go to the boots and purchase the chocolate slack boots so for the orange deadline shoes um go to the boots and purchase the chocolate slack boots for the pink deadline shoes go to the boots and purchase the worn ox blood slack boots that's the one i'm going to be using for the red deadline shoes go to the boots and purchase the chocolate i mean the worn chocolate black slack boots so i messed up but the red deadline shoes are going to be the worn chocolate slack boots and lastly for the yellow deadline shoes go to the boots and purchase the black slack boots so once you got whichever shoes you're going to be using come over here to the accessories go to the earrings and make sure you take the earrings off your character and also go to the gloves and put on the light woodland tactical gloves so just go to the accessories put on the light woodland tactical gloves and take off your earrings of your character once you got that come save the outfit and save it excuse me save it in the empty slot that's on your main character so if the outfit that you didn't want to lose on your main character was on slot 20 you would just save this in a different slot so just save it in the empty slot that's on your main character so once you've got the outfit saved you want to make your way over to the top section go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field i'm not sure why it came to the hat section but you want to go to the top section go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field So this one right here, once you got that, you want to back out, stay in the top section, go to the gun running t-shirts, and buy the blue digital t-shirt. So just stay in the top section, go to gun running t-shirts, and buy the blue digital t-shirt. Once you got that, just go ahead and come save the outfit, and just save it right underneath of the previous outfit that you just made. Once you have that saved, just go ahead and hit your bag button, so be a circle, go to standard outfits, and purchase the Chica outfit. Once you've bought the Chica outfit, just go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online, and click on creator. Once you get inside a creator, you want to click on create a race and then click on land race. When you get loaded in, click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. It doesn't have to be anything specific and then go ahead and put the maximum players on two. Set the root type on point to point and also don't forget to take the photo. Once you've done that, just hit your pause button, open up your map and warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, hit your back button, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down. You want to back out of that, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and then back out of that, and then click on checkpoints. Now, it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down, as long as you make the race point 62 miles or longer. So just go ahead and make the race point 62 miles or longer. Once you've made it point 62 miles or longer, hit your pass, I mean, hit your back button twice. So either B or circle. And it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and test it out. Once you get inside of here, all you want to do is make sure you go over to your second character that got the Chica outfit on 
and you're going to delete her. So make sure you delete your second character with a Chica outfit because you don't want to delete your main character by accident. So make sure you delete your second character that got the Chica outfit on. Once you delete her, two new characters are going to come in. And from there, you want to hit your back button so it takes you inside of single player. Once you get inside of single player, just hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GT online, and just go inside of a invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session. So once you load in online, the first thing you want to do is make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So come make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your outfits. But once you save your outfit, now this part, I didn't do it in the video because I forgot. Imported. But if you want any um, racing gloves on your outfit, just go to the racing jersey and buy any one of them. I'm pretty sure you could get racing gloves on your outfit so just go to the um, tops go to the racing jerseys and purchase any racing jersey that you want the gloves on your outfit but anyway i'm just taking off my helmet right now So once you're ready to merge outfits, just hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus, and you want to start up crooked cops. Now when you get inside of crooked cops, make sure you put the clothing on player own, and you want to invite either a friend or a random. If you don't put it on player own, the glitch will not work. So make sure you put the um, clothing on player own and invite either a friend or a random. Now when you get inside of here, go down to owned outfits, and you want to hit right on the d-pad twice. So just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad twice and you're going to have the top with the um, racing, not racing belt, the um, gun belt. From here just go ahead and ready up. So when you get inside the mission, all you're going to do is open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, whichever one you bought from ammunition. And then after that, open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you load inside of online, just go ahead and come save the outfit inside of ammunition. Once you save the outfit, you can go ahead and delete the component since you don't need it. But just make sure you save your outfit. So that's going to be for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and were able to get the outfit, don't forget to drop a like on it. Share subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos.